Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, some major breaking news just happened. Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida has officially dropped out of the GOP presidential race. He's endorsed former President Donald Trump for the nomination. Here's what he had to say. Nobody worked harder, and we left it all out on the field. Now, following our second place finish in Iowa, we've prayed and deliberated on the way forward. If there was anything I could do to produce a favorable outcome, more campaign stops, more interviews, I would do it. But I can't ask our supporters to volunteer their time and donate their resources if we don't have a clear path to victory. Accordingly, I am today suspending my campaign. I'm proud to have delivered on 100% of my promises, and I will not stop now. It's clear to me that a majority of Republican primary voters want to give Donald Trump another chance. They watch his presidency get stymied by relentless resistance, and they see Democrats using lawfare this day to attack him. Well, I've had disagreements with Donald Trump, such as on the coronavirus pandemic and his elevation of Anthony Fauci. Trump is superior to the current incumbent, Joe Biden. That is clear. I signed a pledge to support the Republican nominee, and I will honor that pledge. He has my endorsement because we can't go back to the old Republican guard of yesteryear, a repackaged form of warmed over corporatism that Nikki Haley represents. While this campaign has ended, the mission continues. Down here in Florida, we will continue to show the country how to lead. Okay, uh, so Crystal and I are gonna have a lot to say about this tomorrow. I think you can uh, tune in. It'll be a fun show. We have Shelby Talcott also joining us from Semaphore. She's gonna give us some reporting about what happened behind the scenes. But a lot of this came together pretty quickly and just immediately off the top of our heads, what? why should we care? This is gonna change the race, obviously, in the state of New Hampshire. Now, Governor uh, DeSantis was not doing well in New Hampshire. He came in second in Iowa, barely beat Nikki Haley, but he was only polling some 6% or so in the state. Really. It was Nikki Haley versus Donald Trump. Now, immediately, this may seem like it's good for Trump. Later polls, and we'll talk about this as well, show him around 55% support. But, you know, an additional six to Nikki Haley wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing in the world. She may come in a, a distant second as opposed to a further distant second that she would have in the first place. No indication if she's even going to try and run the table whenever it does come to New Hampshire. But the immediate thing is that for DeSantis, and we've said this from the beginning, what was his outlook? I mean, yeah, it's great. You won second in Iowa. There's no bump happening for you in New Hampshire. And then you got to go to South Carolina, where Nikki Haley is the former governor of the state. And by the way, Tim Scott, the former senator who ran against Trump and dropped out, he's endorsing Trump in New Hampshire. So that tells you something about where things were going to go in South Carolina. And Trump already had the South Carolina endorsement of Lindsey Graham. So he basically had the whole Republican establishment there on top of polling in every single at the top of everyone. Then DeSantis would have had to lose three contests in a row, second, third, and then probably third again before limping into the state of Florida, his own home state, where he likely would have lost to Trump anyway, who by all accounts, he's doing incredibly well. At the end of the day, DeSantis put it, no path to victory. There just didn't, it really just didn't exist. He says, uh, clearly the Republican electorate wants to give Trump another chance. You know, I'll save some of the, uh, you know, some of the pat on the backs. Some people have been saying that for quite a long time about DeSantis. I actually, if you go back and roll the tape, I'm pretty sure I said he shouldn't have run in the first place. I was like, yeah, I could see, you know, the whole like shoot your shot while you got it. But this was just always the most likely scenario. Anyway, uh, you know, it is what it is. I, I guess it's just one step closer to the total inevitability. Shout out to the premium members and more. Just wanted to drop this uh, breaking news segment so you guys can get the segment now. Uh, but we will have full analysis and everything tomorrow.